Good morning, Spinthusiasts. It is a beautiful sunny morning. We have not had the most fabulous weather until this weekend. This weekend things looked up and I'm hoping this means that we are headed for spring. I had a lot of questions <clears throat> because my how to become a color guard instructor series went up on YouTube this last weekend and I had a lot more questions on it. So I wanted to go ahead and address those here and let you guys know my thoughts on this. Uh, someone asked me, do like what degree do I need to get to become a guard instructor? And there's really no specific degree program. There's nothing like that's like this is the exact degree program that you need to have to become a guard instructor. I talked a little bit about this, about what degrees I recommend in a previous episode of the How to Become a Color Guard Instructor series. And that's, I really, I stand by that pretty well. If you're going like elementary, I definitely want to do something where you are learning how to work with younger children because that's how it, that, that's the best way to go about teaching guard is just knowing how to teach with younger children. Like for me, I would probably not have a great time as a elementary color guard instructor. Middle school, maybe, maybe but elementary, eh, I don't know. And then another one I had a comment about was that you don't actually have to be a teacher to get to actually teach, coach a color guard on the scholastic level. There's some back and forth about this. I would not recommend that route as like if you're trying to become a color guard instructor of a scholastic program, just simply because it's you're having you're gonna have to skate through a lot of uh, different red tape and you're gonna have to jump through a lot of hoops to do it you can do it I'm not saying it's not possible I'm just saying that's not my recommended method of going about doing it but if that's what your options are go for it you can definitely get um, you can definitely become a coach without being a certified teacher that's an option as well so those are a couple of different things that I wanted to kind of address with you guys just because those questions have come up. If you have any more questions, as always, comment. I will make sure to address those things. Um, if you're wondering about my finger, I don't know if I talked about this in the last episode, but I definitely chopped the tip of my finger off and it was not my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> if you want to see that, my sister and I have a YouTube channel. It's called Two Polish Girls. The name of the video is Rocky Falls Drone. Rocky Falls Drone Flying. I don't know. It's my it's my most recent video, but my sister and I post videos to each other every week on there. If you want to go and subscribe, we don't have a lot of subscribers because well, we just we don't. <laughs> so anyway, uh, all that cool stuff's going on with Spintronics. We're getting close to the end of the season. We're kind of in the home stretch now. We've got three competitions and one rehearsal left. Very very excited to see how our students have been practicing this whole time. I want to see them apply all of the changes that we've made last weekend in our big rehearsal to our show coming up this next week. We're still working on getting clean. We're cleaning, cleaning, cleaning always, of course, you know, getting to that, that thing where we clean all the time and bringing things together, working on performance quality, all of that sort of stuff. What kind of things does your guard do to work on performance quality? Because we definitely, we have our own uh, exercises and things that we do, but I'm always interested to know what other guards do because we, you know, like I said, we have our own. And sometimes when you do the same ones over and over, you get kind of immune to it. And if you give us one and we end up using it, we'll give you a shout out in the block. So tell me some of your performance quality exercises that you guys do to help people get out of their shell and perform more. So anyway, love talking to you guys and I will see you later. Bye.